like, subscribe, and share to Voices of Linden TV. Welcome to Senior Spotlight, where we celebrate the life experiences and accomplishments of our dear seniors. I'm your host, Andrew James, and today I'm pleased to have with us in studio via Zoom, Sister Grace Cannon. Thanks for having me, Mr. Andrew James. Welcome aboard, Sister Cannon. Sister Cannon, for folks looking at this video who don't know you, can you share with us a little bit about who Sister Grace Cannon is? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Okay, my name is Grace. I came from the island of Grenada, and I came to this country at the age of 21, 45 years ago to date. And I must say it's a good experience having watching snow for the very first time and different culture of people. I learned to adapt and realize I'm an adult now on my own to fight my way through life. Very nice to say. Uh, coming up from the lovely island of Grenada. Sister Karen, can you tell us a little bit about what life was like growing up in Grenada, please? Life was very wonderful in Grenada. I lived with my grandmother from the age of one to the age of seven to eight years old, who was a very faithful member of God and church, who had, as my life growing up, the church was my playground, where basically um, on Saturdays is the Adventist church, a lady will come and get me. And on Sundays, <laughs> my mother lived in the churchyard as a bell went ding dong. There I was in the church attending the services. After service, we had lunch and back to the church again. So basically, the church was my playground, which I really admired. Then I had many aunts that I used to visit as a child, grew up my cook cousins to live with my grandmother. And my grandmother, on the other hand, was a very generous lady who would give you her last shot on her back or if she's eating something, you'll have it and go without. That's the person she was, and that's how I was brought up. Nice. So thanks for sharing your story with us, Mrs. Cannon. If you can go back in time at any age, what would it be and why? I will go back to the age of 21 when I first came to this country, having seen snow for the first time and looking around and see different cultures of people and the experience of what life has to offer me. That was most exciting for me. And then having to go to school at Centennial College on Ashton B, waiting at 10 o'clock at night for the bus to come home. It was a great experience and loving it as I look back. Mm, Centennial College. Huh. I heard a lot of good stories about Centennial College, especially at Centennial College and Ashton B. <laughs> Reflecting back on your life as a younger person uh, and even today, who would you say has had the most influence on your life? Looking back right now, when my parents, my mother's a teacher, and I went back to her at the age of seven, eight, she was a teacher. My father was a farmer. But although he said he didn't have school, when he wrote us a letter, we had to go to the dictionary to get you know, the words he wrote. And coming to Canada, I have met a few good friends who have taught me a lot. Like I said, having gotten sick at the, in 2007, and the friends, my daughter and my granddaughter was my main support, and a few friends, family of choice who I chose, was at my side and praying for me today, I can say to talk to God be glory. Through my sickness, I lost my home, but realizing what my grandmother taught me, material things are not all in life, what's in your head and your personality can take you a long way. And with that information, it led me to be the person I am today. I'm oh, sorry to hear about your story there with the loss of your home. And That's so fine. On. Everything happened for the reason. Yeah. I told my daughter all the time, what's in your head, no one can take it away. What you accomplish is better than riches and fame. Very nice to say. Anyone from church you want to shout out? I think you said you grew up in the church and this and that. Well, in the church in Canada, I have so many people that you shout out to. I have many adopted children, like Melissa Malcolm, Melissa Phillip, Michelle Cosby, Samantha Richards, Marvel Red, Morgan, Velma Lynn, and there are many too many to count out, but there are many people I have accomplished, including Mr. William James, who has stood with me to tick and tin. I can call him at any time and he's there. Thank God for friends like those. Well, thank God for Mr. William James, whoever he may be. Yeah, whoever he <laughs> is, thank God. <laughs> What are the two most important lessons you have learned in your lifetime? What I have learned, and I preach it all the time, is the values that instill in you. 
for example, when everything is gone and lost, your values will stay with you. And the memories and the joy I have, look at my granddaughter every day, is a pleasure. She's my pride and joy, and so is my daughter. With those two, I couldn't have made it in this world, and it's very, very close um, friends who stood beside me. This is Sister Karen, you know, this is a senior show. Obviously, it's a senior spotlight, as you said earlier. You don't look like a senior, of course. What keeps you going, and what motivates you to keep looking so young and fresh and green and active? What's well, the action? What's the what's the recipe? The recipe is keep yourself in the company of young people. Always learn to trust God and pretend you are younger than you think you are. And by your actions, most of all, I have to say, having God in my life. And, a, and faith, faith keeps you, as when you worry, you get old and hard. But when you think of God and what he answers your prayer, you don't worry about tomorrow or what's going to happen. Good advice, of course. So is it fair to say if you're a young person and you hang out with more seasoned individuals, you're going to have a tendency to look like the folks you're hanging out with? Is, is that a fair analysis? Well, as a child girl, they say, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. So if you want to be in good company and looking good, keep good company and follow the right tracks. Okay. Okay. Very good. What advice would you give to young people, Sister Cannon? The advice I give to my young people today, especially my granddaughter, I can speak on behalf of talking to my granddaughter all the time. I said to her, seek education first, but remember that boys don't retire. Don't, boys don't expire. There's one for every age and every season. And the more educated you are, you can go and say, I want this one or that one. You can pick and choose who you want. And if at the end of the day, you were left alone, you can take care of yourself in life. Very nice. It said good words of advice there coming out from Sister Cannon. Um, just a final question. What life advice would you like to share with others in general? What would share with others in life? Don't be selfish with whatever you have. Give and he'll give unto you. Seek and you shall find. And the more you give, it's the more you get. You can never outdo God. You can never get poor by giving. You'll always have once you give what you have of yourself. Sister Cannon, I think we'll leave it there for today. On behalf of everyone at the Senior Spotlight, I want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for sharing your time with us. And uh, stay safe. God bless you. And we will be in touch with you soon. Thank you for having me. Have a blessed day.